morning. It is Friday, July 28th, and I'm out once again walking and running. Um, I've been having trouble sleeping lately, so I'm like kind of low energy again. I think I'm nervous about the start of school because I go back to teaching on August 2nd. No, August 3rd. I'm working the Wednesday, which is like the teacher work day, and then Thursday is like day out first day I have students. I think I'm just nervous because we're getting those back to school emails from my principal about the new staff, all of those things about our schedules. So there's that. So I'm like just low energy and transitioning. So yeah, um, the internet is not working at the house and it hasn't been working since about two o'clock yesterday. So I haven't even, I can't upload, I can't edit uh, yesterday's vlog. So I'm like, well, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, it's not that big a deal, but I haven't, but I eventually need to figure out how I'm gonna get that footage up. So you may be seeing this as a combo vlog if it doesn't get fixed. So that means Daniel might have to go into work because he works from home on Fridays, which is a bummer because usually on Fridays I can leave Eleanor to nap with him. Uh, she goes, she likes to nap at the same time that I have to pick up Lottie from camp. So usually I just bring her and then we deal with it. But if Daniel's home, I just tell, put her down for the nap and hope that she stays down while he can kind of listen to her while he's working. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm potentially going into my classroom this afternoon to bring a bunch of stuff from the house to my classroom. Um, and then Daniel's got a work party tonight. So I'm staying home with the girls because um, like at a brewery so the girls aren't going um and it's super late so oh it's quite a loud engine uh let's see where we are on the knitting check-in um dust of snow done uh freckle whimsy socks done cozy memory socks on pause until or cozy memory blanket on pause until there is uh, more scraps to add which will probably be later today my Stephen West socks are, sock one is done and sock two is on the toe. So I think it should be fine. I'll be done today. I'm glad to have them off the needles. They're the craziest socks, but I really do like them. Um, I'm not sure that the detail on the toe I'm a fan of. It's like a lot of extra like memorizing and work for not a lot of payoff. So. I'm ambivalent on the toe. I did use, um, once I finish them, I'll check in and do a share, do a check in on how much yardage I use. I had two 50 gram skeins from Mandy's Makings. They were a share pair set. And it looks like I used about 30 to 35 grams of each. And I knit the smallest size, which was, I think a cast on of 60 stitches. And then I wear a size six shoe. So, I don't know if you could get away with it if you had any larger feet. Like, if maybe if you were like a 7 or an 8, you could probably get away with 250 grams. But anything larger than an 8, I probably wouldn't risk it. But I knew I had smallish feet. I also have narrow feet, so I knew I could, like, it would be fine. Um, let's see what else. I am hoping to try and be done with my hypnotic yarn socks today because I really want to cast on my Alpen Glow Shawl and my um, bring, the sun, bring on the Sunshine Bring on Sunshine Shawl today. So I want to do those because I know that once I I've got meetings on Wednesday next week so I know I want to be like going on a project where I don't have to be looking at the pattern for said meetings that I'm working on. Um, I think that's it. I do have a test knit <laughs> that I've been hiding from all of you and my sister <laughs> that I'm supposed to be working on. She doesn't even know she's going to read this. Here's pause for Chaley to yell at me. Uh, <laughs> it's only a sock, pair of socks. It's a pair of, um, colorwork pumpkin socks, which I think will be super cute. I, but I can't start it because the orange that I want to use in the colorwork pumpkin socks is the orange that I'm using in my hypnotic yarn stripey socks, which I have plenty of. So, hopefully. 
Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you how my Vesuvius is going. Uh, yeah, so I finished both sleeves and I have 27 grams left to pull off the entire body. So I'm like, oh, and I, I'm kind of done with the project. Like I could totally fade in. I have some white I could fade in, but I'm just kind of over it. Like I'm just gonna let it be what it's gonna be because honestly I had to adapt the pattern a pretty significant amount. Um, and I'm noticing that was just like a trend in a lot of the, in the Facebook group as well, that like it's coming out big for a lot of people. Um, so it could just be body type that um, the model or the designer's shoulders are broader or just the proportions of their body is different than some other people's bodies, which is obviously normal, but yeah. So yeah, I'm over it. I'm just finishing. When I run out of yarn, I run out of yarn and I'm done. Um, which hopefully will probably be by the end of the month because I only have 27 grams left and I you and I cr can crochet about 10 grams a day before my shoulders get upset so that's what I've been doing so I got three more days on that maybe less um oh and I got an Avon package in the mail my very first Avon lady package um so I will try and film an unboxing of that it's really bug spray it's literally all bug spray because that is my main goal, my main reason for being an Avon lady. But stay tuned for a giveaway of some of the free Avon stuff I got um, when I do the unboxing. All right, I gotta run. I've been talking for like seven minutes. Bye. Hello, it's about 9.30. Eleanor is hopefully napping for a little bit. We've been on a nap struggle where I can't get her to transition from falling asleep in the car to falling asleep in her crib. Um, since she no longer gets to have her pacifier for her naps. So we'll see how that goes. But yesterday I got my very first Avon Lady box. So now it's not knitting related. I know, but this is Vlogmas, so it's fine. Um, this is the disclaimer part that um, I'll put my link below. I'm now an Avon sales rep. If you shop my link, there is no additional cost to you or anything like that. And if you order more than $40, I get a little bit of a commission. So that's exciting. But truly, I only use one Avon product, and that is their bug spray. And I have used it for going on probably 25 years. It's, and so I thought I would share that with you. And the reason I became an Avon rep was because I needed to get more bug spray because my grandma was an Avon rep, I think, or she had an Avon lady and she was the one who always purchased it for us, uh, but she's since passed away. So I needed a new bug spray hookup. So that's what I have in this box. So what I bought was this aerosolized bug spray, unscented. It's um, it's like the spray, like spray on. It's SPF 28 and it says it is water resistant for up to 80 minutes and it will repels mosquitoes and all those things so i got one of, i think i got two of those so i got two of these i purchased them with my own money um i also got a i think this is just a scented version this one has vitamin e oh and it doesn't have any um spf so i imagine this is for like hiking and stuff and this is more for like evening i mean i'm going to use it for evening knitting but probably like regular people do evening activities um and then i also got this is sunscreen it's like cream sunscreen this is the one that i actually use these two aerosolized ones are new to me so i've never used those and then these i got two cream ones they are the scent is gentle breeze I have no idea how to describe the scent other than it's a very distinct Avon bug spray smell. It's not bad. You just definitely smell like bug spray. So if you don't like that, unscented is probably the way to go. Um, this is SPF 30, water resistant for up to 30 minutes. And it has vitamin E and aloe. It's, this is clear. I've had this before. It comes out as cream, but it rubs on clear. And then, you know, doesn't stain yourself blue like the other one, like the one that I showed before stains you blue. I don't have any, I don't think they sell the blue one because I think it stained everybody blue. Um, so those are the things I bought. The rest of the stuff came as like perks in the pack. Oh no, just kidding. I bought this too. 
This is towelettes, which I also have never used. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, they're towelettes. You have to, I imagine they're for like, you rub them on yourself when you don't want to carry this whole thing. Like maybe if you're like going backpacking or hiking or something. I've never gone backpacking in my life, so I have no idea. So I think these are going to be like, I mean, I really, really don't like bug bites. So I carry a full on bottle of bug spray in my bag all the time. Um, but I guess these would probably be better and less heavy and take up less space in my Aaron Lane bag purse, which is a triple zip. So yes, um, there's lots of rules for this one. There's lots of rules. Um, so yeah, I got that too. That was the part of the pack that I got. And then I got like all these extras. So I got an additional one of these buddies. So now I have three new ones. I will use my old ones first because of expiration dates. They do have expiration dates, but like I showed, the one that I was using was like from 2013 and it's fine. I mean, you can't say to use things past their expiration date, but I do. And I used them on my kids. But you make your own choices. Do not tell, do not say that I said it was a good idea. I'm telling you what I did. Um, I also got an additional one of these buddies. One of these towelettes. So now I so these are like the extras in the package. And then this giant thing, which I've never used before. It's a bath oil. It's like it's to soften your skin. And then to fill tub, pour in desired amount, immerse yourself until shoulders are covered for added moisture, apply directly to wet skin. Interesting. I've never used this before. I would actually send it as a giveaway. However, it is too heavy and kind of expensive. So I guess I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Um, but what I do want to do is I also got these lovely insulated bags that say bug guard on them. So they are insulated on the inside, but what I liked is that they pop up pretty like significantly they're pretty firm like it's got a box bottom and then it'll sit open so you could like put your drinks in it or something like that or you know your bug spray or your knitting um so I got three of them I do not need three of them so I am this one is still in this package um so I would love to give away these these two bags to our fabulous viewers for you know bearing with my Avon journey so um if oh there's all this like catalogy business too and all that exciting things um and I'll probably send someone this exciting catalog and then this is the one I think that's like the rep gets yeah so these are like this is a catalog so two bags to give away um please um like this video subscribe and comment something below the video you don't have to buy anything from my avon store to be part of to be eligible to win this giveaway um if you do that's super cool i highly recommend the bug spray because i literally cannot vouch for anything else other than this cream bug spray however <laughs> um yeah that's all i can vouch for um everything i mean it's solid they're a solid company they've been around for a while um but i do want to give away two bags so like subscribe comment below something tell me about i don't know Tell me about your summer. Tell me if you get bug bites, like if you, what bug bites are like in your area, because it's different in different places. I'm learning. Um, some viewers have commented, but also just like in traveling, some places are horrendous and some places are not so bad. For example, Hawaii for us on the island of Oahu is horrendous. Hawaii on the island of Kauai was not so bad on my honeymoon. It was dicey, but I like went kayaking and like, you know, where there was a lot of water and it wasn't, I mean, I was diligent, but like I'm diligent on Oahu as well. Like very, like ridiculously diligent. Like I spray my clothes with other kind of bug spray, but I don't like it cause it's, um, it's not backwards cutter stuff. And I don't like how that like makes my skin tingly. So I don't like it. 
Um, so now I can use this stuff, but like on Oahu, I'm like diligent with like, I apply it multiple times a day. I leave it on my clothes. I put it on before I go to bed. I had one of those bracelets and I still got bug bites on Oahu versus Kauai. I just put it on once a day and was fine. So, and you know, there are islands that are close to each other, right? Um, Louisiana was horrible. Not, <laughs> um, not the, not the experience in Louisiana, the bug bites in Louisiana was horrible. When we went to New Orleans. That was really rough. Um, Colorado, not so bad. Tahoe's not so bad. Even when I lived in Southern California, Southern California, not so bad in terms of bug bites. But here in San Jose and in San Leandro has been a whole thing. Now you know all about my bug bite experience that you did not ask for, but it's flawless. Um, so yeah, my whole life. Um, so yes, do that. I will, if I try this, cause I'm not really a bath person. Maybe I'll just rub it on my skin and see how it goes. I do have dry skin and this is a really big bottle. Like I said, if it was a smaller sample, I would be smelling it off, but it's, uh, it's 25 fluid ounces and I'm not mailing 25 fluid ounces. That's a lot to mail. Um, I'll try all this other stuff, but I saw that it's going to be great. I need to tell, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, I have picked a color for my, um, Brunella Sunshine. I, did long. I have loved this colorway for six years now, seven years now. It is the Golden Gate Bridge colorway from Destination Yarn. I went to Stitches in like 2017 and she, I wanted it then, but she didn't have it on the base that I wanted. And then my uncle happened to buy it for me. So, and I've been just hoarding it and I keep thinking like, I should do hat. Like I love it too much to be socks. Um, but now it's going to be a shawl and I absolutely love it, which is, these aren't my usual colors, but like, I don't know, just these, the specific orange and the specific blue, um, I really like. So that's going to be that colorway. I'm almost done with a bunch of things. I've gotten no knitting done in between the time I was talking to you on my morning walk and now. Also, I've done no chores, which I have to go do now. Um, but yes, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will draw, let's see, it's the 28th. I'll probably draw the winner on the next. I'm podcasting with Chaley tomorrow, so it'll probably be the podcast two weeks from now. So it'll be the podcast, or probably it'll be the first podcast of August that I will announce Avon giving me winners. Yes, that's what I will do. Also, I have not heard back from the winner of the Stitch Marker giveaway. So I'm going to leave that up on till the 31st. And if I do not hear from them, um, by basically the 30th on the vlog for the 31st, I will redraw a new winner. So if you missed one of my vlogs, go back and watch. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. I'm super stoked on how well this is going for us. Um, I've talked now for 11 minutes. I shall go <laughs> and try and get some chores done. Hello, I'm at school trying to get some usable internet. I'm actually on my way home and the school Wi-Fi wasn't much stronger. So maybe it's an issue in the area. It, I've been at school for about three hours and that took me those whole three hours to, to get my six minute YouTube video uploaded. So I don't know, it's not going super great right now in terms of internet. So I'm not even sure when people will be seeing this video, but hopefully it's better. Daniel says that he was on the phone with Xfinity Comcast people for a while, hoping that our internet should be fixed. So hopefully that's a thing. I did get a lot of lesson planning done, so that's good. Not much crocheting done, but that's all right. It's transition time from knitter to teacher and knitter. All right, see y'all later.